We're both looking after you from here. It would make me very happy if you would give these with all my love to your wife on the day you marry her. I'll be watching that wedding and smiling because my son is going to be happy and loved. I love you, Ted, my darling one. Have a good and rich and joyous life. I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am and all that I have, I honor you in the name of God. Look, whoever Dixie saw on that bridge, she thought it was Tad, and she thinks she's going crazy. She's on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Oh, the poor child. Oh, it must be ghastly for if her. she saw somebody, if she really saw somebody, and it was Tad, and if I can bring him back to her... It would be a miracle. I mean, Tad was the one who saved her before from Adam. Tad is the man that she loved. So do you see why I have to go? Of course. But if it is Tad, will you be all right? I don't know. That's I'm trying not to think about that until I can get to the bottom of everything. And if it is Tad, he has no idea that he has fathered a son. So that's another reason to go. I mean, even if Dixie didn't need Tad desperately right now, I owe it to Jamie to find out if his father is alive. <laughs> Goodbye, darling. Good luck to you. Safe trip, my dear. You know, Tad Martin is alive. I'm going to find him. Why'd she have to leave so damn soon? We just found each other. Why, why couldn't we have a little more time together? I loved her too. And I want you to know I'm going to do exactly as she requested. You will never again hear me question your birthright. No, 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 wait a minute. Lionel, you do exactly what you think is right. What is right is for me to respect your mother's dying wishes, try to help her son out as much as I possibly can. So we're at... Whatever assistance I can give in running the company, straightening out a personal map, you know, whatever. As a matter of fact, you can help me out soon. Anything? After the funeral, I think I'll be returning to Pine Valley. It turns out I have some unfinished business there. Totally honest with each other since the word go. Don't start playing games with me now. I'm not. Prove it. How? Simple yes or no answer will do. Are you in love with me? Yes. You should give yourself a break and, and quit thinking that the worst is going to happen because it isn't, okay? And you've got to believe that and believe in yourself and believe that you are going to get Junior back. It's a fact. You will. Because at the next hearing, the judge is going to hear what a monster Adam is and he's going to have to give you back your son. Right. And in the meantime, you have to be nice to yourself. Just take care of yourself. Now I think... Uh, Maybe you should rest a little bit. Brian, um, how about taking her upstairs soon if she'd like to lie down? Dix, how about we go upstairs now, okay? I'll carry you like a knight in shape normal. Oh. It's so sad. Yes, it is. Hey. Hey, uh, is she any better? Same. I don't know what to do. Did she say anything? When she talks, it's about Ted. How are you doing, Brian? Oh, I'm fine. I'll be okay. 
must really be hard for you. I mean, you love her so much, and she's... But fixated on her dead husband? Yeah, it must be hard. <sighs> it's not great. But it's not important either. I mean, she's done a lot. She's given me a lot. I need to do something for her now. You're doing everything you can. You know, watching... Dixie and Junior, I mean, I learned a lot. I never knew that a, a mother and son could be like, I don't know, so much love. Oh, she's wonderful. I mean, it's the way I always envisioned a mother and a child. I mean, my mom did her best, but Dixie and Junior, it's, it's, it's rare. I know what you mean. I, I can't let anyone wreck that. What matters right now is getting Dixie and Junior back together. You're absolutely right. I mean, if Tad, if Tad could do that, I'd welcome him with open arms, you know? If, if he could do that, if I could, if I could, I'd bring the sucker back from the dead. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's not the answer that you want to hear. So this is it, you want me to just tell Jackson to go ahead with the divorce? I guess it would be the best thing for all concerned. Is that what you want? <sighs> it's not what I want. It's not what I want. But it's what... What we have to do. Dad? Are you all right? I'm fine. But this service is too much for you. No, seriously, I'll, I'll be all right. Are you sure? I'm sure. All right, well, I've cleared my calendar, so whatever you need me to do, I'll be able to handle it here while you're in Pine Valley. I'm not Valley. going back to Pine Valley. Excuse me? Turns out there's no need. Please fasten your seat belts and put your trays back in landing position. We're beginning our approach to the San Francisco airport. Well, maybe Dr. Tolan could work with her. I mean, get her past this tad phase. She could just drop it for the hearing. Yeah. I know, she's acting as if she's having a breakdown and the judge is not going to miss that. You think maybe Jackson would have any answers? It's worth a try. Yeah, uh, hi, I need to speak with Mr. Montgomery, please. I want to thank you all for coming. Lord knows I couldn't have done this by myself, and no, I always did have a thing for uh, parties and people. Saying goodbye to someone is always hard. Saying goodbye to someone precious is the hardest thing we can ever do. I know that all of you felt sadness and, and sorrow at hearing about Nola's death, but I want you to know that when she died, she was happy Peace. Now, she's no longer in any pain. I'm sure she's up there somewhere with my father, laughing, just watching the grapes ripen and telling everybody how to run the place. <laughs> Nola Orsini had a great deal of love and wisdom that she never hesitated to share with any of us. Her love nurtured us and her wisdom bound us together. She knew that by challenging us with hard work that uh, she could help to give us as individuals a sense of purpose. By binding us together as a family, 
She gave us a sense of belonging. She created balance and joy in our lives by pulling us together, making us laugh, and teaching us to always strive to make the best of ourselves. In the end, if her life stood for anything, it was given enough faith, anything was possible. She worked very hard while she was alive to make us happy. And I know that she would want us to stay that way. She was one of a kind. She was a real lady. I'll miss your mother. I'd like us now, in conclusion, to sing Nola's favorite hymn. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but Pretty good tuna salad. Oh, Jack, I'm glad you're here. I got her as soon as I could, how was she? Not good. Hi, honey, how are you? Fine, everything is fine, stop worrying. Listen, uh, we all love you, and if there's anything I can do, I, I want to do it. 